Hello Cheetah fans and welcome to the first episode of Cheetah Chase for 2019. In this month's show we find out what the new year has in store at the annual general meeting. We say thank you and farewell to Team Dr. Rudy DeBet before he heads off to the east. The Tia de Cheetahs and Copper Clover host a rugby quiz evening all in the name of fun and we sit down with our fearsome flanks Junior Pocamela and Karat Willifi to hear where their love for the game started. Wow. The annual general meeting of the Free State Rugby Union was held at the end of 2018 with various club rugby presidents and administrators in attendance. The event was also an opportunity to reward coaches and club players for their achievements and hard work. We have the annual general meeting of the Free State Rugby Union tonight. Uh, it is where the president gives his report of the activities over the year, uh, general perspective over the last 12 months. And then we have our trophy awards directly after the, the annual general meeting. All the presidents of the different clubs will be here tonight with some of the representatives of the clubs. All firstly clubs will have four representatives and all secondly clubs will have two representatives. Uh, and some of the associations will have three. It is uh, like it's uh, prescribed in the constitution of the Free State Union. It means a lot to me, but not only to me, I think the guys that work with me, Isaac Van and Mark Nichols, for, you know, the, the, the physio, um, Wahing, uh, the, the, the skills guy, and I think, uh, you know, if you look at Dave Williams that came to help us, and Dan that's doing our scrums, that, uh, it means a lot, I think, to them also, you know what I mean? It's not about me, it's, it's about the boys, the guys that are just in my name now, and the lady, that actually put the job, they put the, they put the work behind the scenes, nobody really knows about it, but they do a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but I mean, to get the stuff together, um, to get this, this is actually not for me. I think it's for the, it's for them also. It's for the whole team. And uh, to them, uh, I want to say thank you for a great season. Thank you for for being part of this. I mean, uh, for being part of this journey. I would love to see them next year standing with uh, with me and, and and getting the award. This evening we had a very successful annual general meeting. Firstly, we had all our members present at the AGM, and the AGM went according to our plan. We all know that uh, the beginning of the season we, did, we couldn't do well because of two main factors. The first one, it was about the massive departure of most of our senior players, well-expressed players, who went to trade in Europe. But also the issue of overlapping of the Curry Cup versus the Pro Food team, that is also disadvantage for State in a big way. Fortunately, this is the last season where Free State will be competing in Curry Cup and Pro Food at the same time. Because the reality of the situation is that uh, we have to double our budget. We need to make sure that the contract players who can play during the Curry Cup as well as making sure that we can still play pro footing team. And there's no way that we can balance the two. To us, as the cheetahs, both competitions are important. Curry Cup is important for domestic competitions. Our people, they always enjoy local derbies. For them to play against the Kings, to play against the Sharks, the Lions, is the most important. That is the only platform through Curry Cup that we can play amongst the big unions in South Africa. So we value Curry Cup very well as first rugby. Hence, we are very much happy with Saru to say that they will eventually be making sure that there's no overlap in the next season. And I can promise our supporters, our fans, that uh, come next year, the team will perform very well. They have already seen since the end of the Curry Cup that the team is daily. We are doing very well, but hopefully things will start uh, shaping in the new season. We had a very good meeting with our major sponsor, Toyota. They have shown interest in renewing the, 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 the contract. The negotiations are still not going, but we are very much positive that the Toyota will come back to the party. Our shareholders, Super Sport, they are always been there to support us. So the future looks bright for us, but we must continue to make sure that we bring new people, new fans to the stadium, because what is important for the team to perform, we need people to come to support it at the stadium. Yes. In the month of December, the Toyota Cheetahs players and management gathered to say farewell and thank you to team physician Dr. Rudy DeVette, who will be starting his new medical adventure overseas in 2019 after practicing in Bloemfontein for the past three years. Yes, Dr. Rudy DeVette, a very special young man. He came here uh, three years back as our medical doctor. I must say he did a lot of good work here to turn the medical faculty department into a very special unit with the physiotherapists and masseuse and the, the, the recovery gym 
He's a special young man and he got a wonderful opportunity in the East. So unfortunately, he's, uh, this was his last day at work today. We'll miss him a lot. He's a very kind young man, but a very specific uh, focused doctor. And because also he specializes in, in sports medicine, he knows it inside out. But he's a wonderful team man. Always a big fun to go out with him and talk medical stuff and injuries of players, fitness of players and so on. We'll miss him a lot. I started off about 10 years ago with uh, the Griffins. Um, I met Dr. Liu Yolzhagen at that stage and he got me involved with the junior structures at the Free State. So it's been uh, my first experience was about eight years ago, but my full employment came only three years ago when I got the opportunity to, to be part of the senior team as well. Yeah, I've always had a love of, of sport, uh, sports medicine, and that's why I decided to study sports medicine. Um, and uh, I, I think what I enjoy most uh, about working with the teams is, is to see everybody's commitment, um, whether it is the, the, the staff that work at the union, uh, from the ticket sales ladies, the, the, the cleaning ladies, the, uh, up until the coaches, uh, medical teams, the marketing. So I think it's, it's a lot of cogs in the wheel that you don't normally see. Uh, but it, I, I think that's what makes a difference um, and, and it was an honor to be part of, of, of that. As the rule goes, you don't really talk about what happens on tour, stays on tour. But Rudy, is a, I can say he's a keen dancer. He really likes his Brazilian dancing. With, but he's a, he's a real character on tour. He makes the, the traveling uh, less stressful. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I think we're going to really miss him. I think I'll rather not divulge too much. Like they say, what, what, what goes on tour stays on tour. Yeah, I made good friendships um, with both uh, the management and the players. And uh, seeing a group of people moving from South Africa, where you're comfortable, to another country and just continuing the hard work every single day, uh, it's, it's also humbling to, to, to see that, that type of commitment. The Copper Clover traditional Irish restaurant was the venue for a fun-filled and brain-teasing rugby quiz evening. The Tia de Chidas were also joined by the Italian side Benetton Treviso to see who knows what when it comes to rugby off the field. We are the Cheetos, uh, we have a partnership with Copper Clover, so we are here to support their quiz night tonight. And it's just nice to, to get out as, the, as a team and support and just to, to see the fans and just to interact with them. We had uh, so many prizes for rugby in Copper Clover, and it's Copper Clover Lounge by the stadium. So we're going to quiz night every year, uh, or here, or by the Luisi. I think next year we're going to go Luisi to Copper Clover Lounge. We'll see you there. It's a lot of fun. I think. I see we're going to see how we're going to win. And we're going to see a few things that are not so scary. We're going to see a few things that are not so scary. We're going to see a few things that are not so scary. So I see you there. Yes, definitely. Uh, tonight it seems like we're going to have around about, I think, 200 players, which is a good amount because you're only allowed to have six per team. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people here. I'm excited to get it going. You, you get some questions that are obvious, but then you get others that are more difficult, but it's good. It's good. Some of them are also educational. That teaches you a little bit more about Pro 14 Rugby, which I think is a very good thing. Well, I've seen a couple of local guys coming in. I see the Cheetahs, they've got, uh, they've got their teams together, but I think there are a couple of local guys that, um, that might take it. Huh? I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait and see. Our team's name is uh, Wim Harold Soldiers. Uh, it comes from, obviously, our CEO's name is Mr. Harold Fister. I don't think he's going to be here tonight, so we just want to bring his name into the competition here. I really think we have a chance. I already lined a strong team up for myself with a lot of knowledge there, so I truly really believe we're going to win tonight. All right, so the format uh, with, this, with this quiz night, we're going to have five rounds. Now, these five rounds will be played. They've got nine questions each. And then the tenth question is a music question that they need to answer that have been specifically selected for the rugby fans. So five rounds, 50 questions. It is what it is. After that, we'll tell you the points. And we're going to see who will be uh, taking first, second, and third place tonight. We do attend the quizzes at Copa Clave. It's the best, best quizzes in town, and the guys and the spirit and everything is very, very nice. And the food's very good. Oh, it's a great night. I mean, it's great to see all these supporters out for for the cheetahs. It's great for rugby. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, really enjoyable. And uh, the questions, yeah, the person who set the questions has done a good job. They've, uh, you know, they're pretty fair, I think, and um, you know, they cover a lot of, lot of different things. And 
En um, zo so dat vier. Het was lekker, eerst een een beetje Afrikaans te praten en te, te luisteren. Um, en ja, dat was toch een goede vraag gevraagd. Um, tricky questions. Um, maar ja, ontspannen gewen. Um, ja, ze komt van alle part van Italië af. Het was een goede wet. The Free State has always been proud of producing not only quality players, but also world-class rugby referees, such as Jakub Peper and Lawrence van der Merwe. The latter will soon be moving away from the City of Roses, so we caught up with Lawrence at the annual Referee Awards to hear where his love for officiating started. What happened to me was that I got injured whilst playing at school level, and then started refereeing, switched over to, to refereeing. Started in 99, joined the Free State Union, and from there on, the rest is history, as they say. So, um, yeah, I progressed quickly, and God willing, I, I ended up where, where I am today. So, 20 years later, I'm leaving the Free State, and it was a great privilege for me to for being here. Highlights, it's always been a, a privilege refereeing in, in, in Free State kit, doing Free State games. There's a great passion in, in, in Free State for the game. So that's always a, a great privilege. The, the schools in this, the Corsairs League, that was always Friday evenings, always a highlight. Then obviously the, the SA Rugby appointments I got um, in my career was, was uh, tremendous. That was one of the highlights for me every weekend traveling for SA Rugby and, and serving uh, SA Rugby was, was great for me. It's a great life, it's a great way of being a part of the game. These days the guys are huge and big and must jump all the way all the time. So being being a referee is, is great and you you're in the middle of the field, part of the action, which is great. Just contact the Free State Rugby Union or the Referee Society. Skelly LaRue, who's in charge as, as uh, manager, um, contact him and join the join the club. The 2019 leg of the Guinness Pro 14 season kicked off early for the Tia the Cheetahs as they gathered at the Bram Fischer International Airport on their way to Parma in Italy for a rigorous clash against Zebra. Yeah, I think it's a quite interesting trip early in the year, uh, getting the guys together so early and in, a, in quite a bit of heat. Heading out to very cold Europe is a, it's going to be a very interesting week, but we am um, excited about it. Uh, I'm very happy with the way the guys uh, presented themselves uh, after the holiday, so looking forward to our trip to Italy. Uh, no, definitely excited for the new year. 2019, hopefully it will be a great year for the Cheetahs. Uh, hopefully everything will work out as we planned. And yeah, we put all our faith and trust into God's hands and we hope everything will work out. Yeah, so, so uh, what's, the, what's the first pizza that you're going to eat? It's carbonare, carbonare. I can do this pasta. But yeah, I'm not going to eat pizza. But yeah, I'm not going Should be a very interesting trip since we've been experiencing very hot weather in Bloom. So we should be in good spirits to go cool off a bit in Italy. But yeah, looking very forward to everything. Everyone looks hungry. So yeah, we just have to dish it out on Sunday. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, six take on seventh here in Conference A as Zebre holds Toyota Cheetahs in round 13 of the Guinness Pro 14. And now Cheetahs will move it. And did we say this man could be dangerous and score tries? Well, they're in for the first one, Cheetahs, and they will be happy. They've been here quite a while in North Italy, and it looks like Janse von Rensberg has got the first try on 19 minutes. Nico Lee to Tia Mayer. Mayer again to the outside, and here comes Maxwane. In he goes. And did we say he has scored tries already this season? Well, we can add another one. That's his eighth try, and they made that look so simple. But a good, expansive game from left to right. Broke the tackles. First one, Nico Lee. Fed it off. Pick and go by the tight head. JP the Priya taking it from the top. Nice play by the fullback, that's Malcolm Yar. Feeds it to the danger man again, Max Wanier. Back in field, but 
wasn't a good pass and Zebra capitalised and it was Massimo Cesarani fed it to Cana he's got one on the overlap there it is Padovani sprints for the corner Padovani that's the score they need that's the score they wanted back to the pocket it goes but Chinas with that flat line and attacking defence so far upfield now here comes the expansive play it was on about that's uh, Balacana who played that outfield and here goes the centre the Batista He's got support inside. Can they get a second try? By Segni is in. Oh, what a reply by Debre. And they're seven metres short, the Chinas. It's another fine ball. Outfield it goes. Hurling in for the corner. That looks like it's home. And it's a second one for Jansa von Rensberg. He scored in the first half on the 18th minute. I think you call it frustration. Here is Steenkamp. On the money. Every time since his introduction. The feed from Fenter this time, and now the driving ball up towards the five metre, and they're in for their bonus point try. The ball just peeled out to the outside, ball under the arm. Fought off one tackle, maybe two. Renton was never going to keep him at bay. They're going looking for try number five, and they look like they've got try number five. Cheetahs have come here and they've done a job and the big man Daniel Martins he scored two versus Benetton in round four and that is the only game he started in believe it or not a good day at the office for the travelling party of Toyota Cheetahs not so good for Michael Bradley and his men they put themselves back into the game with tries from Palavani and Bisegni but it's finished 27 points to the away team Toyota Cheetahs 12 to Zebra Rugby until the next time it's bye bye for now The Toyota Cheetahs are blessed to have the versatile combination of Junior Pokamela and Gerard Elifir on the side of the scrum. We sat down with the lanky Dio to hear where their love for the game of rugby started. I started obviously in junior school, um, but I used to play cricket and rugby. So I used to love cricket more and then obviously when I moved to grey, that's when obviously I fell in love more with rugby because grey is more rugby orientated. And I would say that's where my love for rugby started. Obviously being a young boy, growing up in the two state, and my dad also loved the sport. So it was just something that grew on us. Um, I didn't used to play rugby as much, I used to do swimming. But as I grew older, um, rugby uh, and myself became quite fond of one another. Obviously I was at the Kings and I got an offer to come to the Cheetahs and obviously it's a massive opportunity. Obviously I didn't know much of Bloom and I saw it at the time, it was a good opportunity because things were happening definitely at the Kings current, or back then. So that's why I took the opportunity to come to the Cheetahs. I was in Bluffertown at school and then got a chance to go to the courses and play for the Simulas there. And then a couple of years later, down the line, I started playing for the junior, junior size for the Cheetahs and then also moved a bit to the senior size. Honestly, Richard McCall. I would say John Smith. You know, I just like the way he plays, and uh, yes, he's not playing anymore, but he was a chap. Might be a few guys, but obviously Richie McCall, he, he stopped playing a couple of years ago. I would say currently, uh, Kieran Reed is also a good player, and Sam Kane is a, is a really good player. Best player at the moment in my position, I would say Liam Squire. I would say Marcel Kutsia, so far. Back in the day, I thought Lapis Lapis Kafni was quite tough. He was a, a tough opponent to play against. He was a very uh, smart player. He was just a quality player, always there, always consistent. I think a good forward is a guy who's willing to work hard and just bring his, his A game every time. Um, not necessarily his best, but just a much better effort than last week. Um, so a good forward is a guy who brings good work rate and just works hard for the rest of the team. You know, I'm back to just be able to do everything because obviously a loose forward, you, you kind of bit of a back and, a, and a, obviously a forward as well. So I think it's practically having all the attributes of a back and a forward. Not much of a difference, obviously. Like people always say Northern Hemisphere is a bit slower than the Southern Hemisphere, but I would actually um, disagree because maybe it's a slower in the or it's during um, the winter time, but summer time is more or less the same. Uh, the speed of the game is more or less the same, and it's. Practically the same, I would say. The way that they approach a game is um, totally different to the mindset that we in South Africa have for rugby. 
Um, the way that they just think about it, there's much more structure, uh, much more planning going into the game. Where in uh, the southern hemisphere, it's all about the ball, having the ball and just moving it. But uh, the, the game in the northern hemisphere is way different than, than we think um, it is for us. Oh, recently I just scored my first Pro 14 try. Uh, Nick Lee had a, had a great gap and just passed it over to me. I was able to score my first Pro 14 try and I would say that, would be, that was a, a fun one to score. I've only scored one in the Pro 14, so I'd say the Scarlet Zone last year in December. It was actually my first try, so that's why it's my favorite one. Um, it's getting the Man of the Match award last year against Edinburgh. I was injured back then, so it wasn't necessary. I wasn't, wasn't necessarily playing. Uh, but when the guys won the Curry Cup a couple of years ago, um, planning on the sidelines was tough. But uh, just being a part of the group, seeing them grow was uh, was a uh, um, was one of my favourite moments. I love playing Xbox and chilling with mates. I like doing woodwork, and I like spending time with my wife. And we recently got a little baby, so I got my hands full. <laughs> Not necessarily. I won't say that I'm a, I'm a guy who just pops through super sport when he's at home. Um, so I try to just stay out of downtime, and when I'm here, I work, and when I'm at home, I, I get away from sport as much as I can. Yes, I do. I watch a lot of um, super active. I watch a lot of, obviously, European Cup, and I started watching a lot of Northern Hemisphere teams now since we started playing this competition. I'd like to go to Thailand, but obviously I would say at the moment it's been on um, the UK. I enjoyed Ireland a lot. Um, yeah, the people is nice and um, obviously the country is pretty special. And um, yeah, I just enjoyed um, seeing Belfast and Limerick and, and being able to, to get to know the people and go to a couple of pubs and just have a, a pint of tea. I kind of grew up under him. He coached me at the, at the Shimlas with the Varsity Cup and where we won the tournament. So I feel like I, I know the way that he thinks. Uh, I know that he, the way that he wants us to adapt to. It's easy for me to, to adapt to what he, what he is saying. Um, so there isn't a lot of questions being asked from my side. I just I enjoy play, playing un, under him and uh, just following his leading. And then obviously just being my part um, with, that, with the direction that he gives us. He's very, very nice. Yeah, he's a very good coach. Obviously, he's a, he's a tough coach on the field, but he's a very, very good coach and he's very nice. Pizza or pasta? No, sushi. Um, house? I like folk. I don't really have a favorite movie. I like series more. 18. Gerald Butler. This is a difficult one. I would say Danger Washington, yeah. Alex Inc. Um, suits and power. Lauren Bray. The possible in the team. I don't know if you know. Yes. A little bit difficult, but I could try. Superman. Batman. Uh, New World Dawn. Raps, Raps my city. He could think that he snores. <laughs> not really, as I would say, Alan Dijima, but obviously it's not too bad. It's not the worst one, yeah. Uh, Arnos could say. Oxenjet, definitely. I'd say I'd love everything in camaraderie between the players and the brotherhood. That's what I enjoy the most, because obviously you, you make a lot of friends from Rafi, and you obviously you just keep them for love. For a lifetime, and that's what I love the most. I love being in a place where you need to, you need to adapt every week. I think a lot of people think of rugby as a, as a game where it's just a ball and you pass it around and you get tackled. Um, but for me, it feels like every week there's new challenges. Every moment you need to adapt to the, to the new situation, to a new team, to traveling, to managing your body when it's all. Yeah, so I just love being in a space where we can adapt every week adapt to be better and, and yeah, adapt to obviously come to a place where we, we as a team know each other way better. That's all for this month. For more information on all things Cheetah, log on to our brand new website at www.fscheetah.co.za or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for all the latest happenings, photos and uploads. 
So until next month, keep supporting and as always. Ah,